Break time's over, let's hit the road again. We will go up to the tower, and then we will cut across there, and then we will follow the river. And then... Uh, what was it? I think it was cut inland. And then follow the... What happened here? Oh... Something happened here. Great, what you want to bet? It's the aftermath of uh, the Battle of White Run. Mm. Yeah, that looks about right. Oh no! Uh. Sorry, that might have been me. Ooh! Yeah, 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 yeah. Dead bodies. Dead bodies everywhere. Hmm. White run guards got caught up in the mix. Oi! If you stub your toe on the thing. Well, this is not pleasant. Hey, no kidding. This world is incessantly magnificent. Thanks for lighting the mood in a go, but I don't think that was really the place for it. <laughs> nah, he does that. He just takes every up. He, you know, it, it's something that I quite admire about Inigo, actually. He takes his opportunities to remind us that life is, <coughs> well, sometimes brutal, sometimes... Not so bad. And sometimes very, very pretty. Okay, we are burning daylight. Zoom! Heck, God! <laughs> uh oh. Hello? What the crap is this? Looks like trouble to me. Probably should stay around. Or steer around, or rather. Hmm, it's a good idea. Sneaky Kari. Oh, she's slow. Oh no, okay. <laughs> oh, shush! Do -do 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 -do. Ba -da 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 -da. What are you doing? <laughs> kitty, kitty, kitty. Hello. Hello. I almost called it a sentry. It is not a sentry. Oh, we've lost her. Oh no, we did not. You blend in. You're just making wrath. <laughs> does he blend in? He does indeed. He blames it on his armor. He says that the uh, the brown and and grey blends in with his stuff. You kind of blend in too, except that uh, it's the brown and the green. I forgot the word for the color. <laughs> How'd you forget the word for the color? My first language is Tagra. Oh, that's why the 
comment about the sticky weeds. Hmm. I would like to get past these mammoths as quickly as possible. Let us go. So I've got a question. Question away. Why is it that most Khajiit talk in third person, but you seem fine with saying I and whatnot? Oh. Hehe. <laughs> well, when I first came to excuse me, to Skyrim, I kind of I also talked in the third person. Because I thought it would be more polite that way. And then I kind of just stopped. I dis... Uh, hello? Oh, there's more! Uh... I decided that I would much rather just say I. Most Khajiits say this one because the word for I in Tagra is Aziz. So, this one. Uh, afflicted? Afflicted. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, this is bad. Ugh. Well, we lost more good. More good. Where are you going? Uh, sorry about that. It's just the smell of the dead bodies is kind of getting to me, you know? The smell of the dead bodies. Can... Can Dun... Can Dunmar smell that good? Uh... Well, I mean... It's not exactly a subtle smell now, is it? Don't worry about the wolf. Mmm... Wolves like to eat squishy little gadgets like me. Try not to come across any more uh, scenes of death and destruction. How about that? I don't know about you, but the wind blows sideways and everything smells like that. Hmm, that is fair. Although to be to be honest, sometimes I don't know if it's the smell of dead bodies or if it's the smell of cabbages and horses in White Run. <laughs> Does she have pretty good noses then? Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Well, some of us do. Do you have any idea where we're going? Mm -hmm. We're going to follow the river. And then... Uh, what did I say? Cut inland? Don't worry. I have plenty of navigation skills. I would appreciate it if you did not lose me in the tall grass. <laughs> Sorry, you do kind of... You're... Well, a little bit short. Hmm, that's true. Tiny Kajit. Tiny little Kajit. It makes it much easier to be sneaky Kajit. I hate to say it, but I smell bodies again. You smell bodies again? What direction is the wind coming from? Hmm. Ah. Uh, oh. I was gonna say I'm guessing the circling buzzards has something to do with it. You would be correct. Ew. Right, it's a test. 
Ah, I'm working on it. I'm taking this cotton. Ooh. Morbid curiosity. I want to go poke around in here. You know, I don't really blame you. I do kind of blame you, but I don't blame you. The more we know about how the... Uh, how the Imperials are setting up their outposts, I think the better we can deal with them. Probably. I think. I don't know if that's how it works. Well, if nothing else, we know where more of them are or were. And, uh. Jeez, the amount of dead horses. Dish. Poor horses. Uh, but yeah, if we know where we where uh, where big numbers of them were, and that they have been duly squished, we know that uh, we don't have to worry about the that many more. Hello. I'm warning you. Back off. All right, backing off. That's a bandit. You're not gonna. I'm going to back off. We're going, don't worry. I don't peek on the random bandits if they tell me to back off. Really? Why not? Mm. Because I mean... Bandits are just normal people who got stuck in a really, really bad situation. Usually. They don't need to be in a worse position by being dead. Oh. too far of a job for me. Mm. I was saying that uh, they don't need to be in the worst position by being dead. I have a different way of looking at things. I do indeed. I think a lot of it is just from growing up in elsewhere. People think I'm weird, but I think I'm normal because I'm normal for a Khajiit, sort of. <laughs> well, maybe. Oh! Ah, uh, I, I saw the tent on the hill and I didn't expect this. <laughs> Whoa, alright. The thing here is that I don't smell a lot of bodies. But there's so many tents. That is a lot of bits. Very stressful! Too many tents. That is not how that goes. Ooh, smelly dead horse. Smelly dead horse. Blah, 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 blah. They have a whole encampment here. Yeesh. We're on the. Uh, I know we are on the. Uh, the Stormcloak side. But that is just nasty. Aye, I agree with that. That's. Uh, that's not pleasant at all. <laughs> well, we're by Rorik's dead, aren't we? Eh, uh, kind of. Could you do me a favor and not go into Rorikstead? Uh, sure. Why not?
Uh, well... Uh... Let's just say last time I was in Brookstead, we, um... There was... This air is pure and clean. You'll have no nosy niggle! Oi! I mean, the rest of the air is pure and clean, but... Mm. Are you sick? Is your nose clogged up? Uh, he looks fine to me. What can I do for you? Uh, are you doing okay? What are you thinking? No. My mind is a tree without leaves at the moment. Oh, so you're just not paying attention to anything. This makes sense. <laughs> oh, but something about... That place that's up over the hill. The, over the hill here. Okay, it's past the Rorikstead. Okay. I, I uh, left someone in Rorikstead that I'd rather not see again anytime soon. Ah, uh, was that the... Oop. Oh, the sun is getting low. Okay. Take a drink. I was going to sell this. I'm going to drink it instead. Okay, there's... Mm, bad news, bad news, bad news, bad news, bad news. More bad news, I suppose. We are giving Rorik's dead and also that camp a very wide berth. Because, no thank you. Hi. I'm going to take a wild guess and assume that you left the Thalmor there that got you a little bit spooked. That there are Thalmor after. <sighs> Mr. Red. Ah, uh, I. I don't really want to tell him about it. Other than that, the Thalmor are after him, which he already, knew, which he already knows. It seems like. Mm-hmm. He does indeed. Hi. Hello. Don't charge. You just sit. <laughs> that was. That was a heck of a shot. <laughs> This is a very powerful bow. This one is very small and has tiny little muscles, but they are very dense muscles. He went back to this one! Hmm, so I did. A bit, I suppose. Aye, but I'd rather not panic him more than... ...just knowing that the Thalmor after him would panic anyone, really. <laughs> uh, thank you for your consideration. What is this? Uh, oh! A shrine to her scene. I will have to tell Ingrath about this place. Does he actually worship her scene? Mm -hmm. He's. Uh, kind of a weird one, but it is because he's Bosmer, so... Different things. Hey, I mean... I suppose it doesn't come much weirder than a Dunmer worshipping the Old Maker, so... Not that I'm very devout. It's just one of those things, you know, you grow up with it and you just sort of... Keep at it, I suppose. Oh, cats. Okay. We go around the big cats. Big sensual looking jacuzzi. Okay, we are getting closer. 
which is good because it's almost nightfall. It feels good to have his sleep schedule back on some kind of uh, schedule. After so long of kind of being eyes open and walk with the shadows, there's usually bandits around. Hello, here. Hi, I see him. Oh, careful. Okay, now we can go. <gasps> I missed. How did I miss? Where's the Inigo? Uh, he got stuck in the rocks back there. Oh, I hear you. I don't know where. Oh. You leave her alone. Nice shot! He saved your butt. <laughs> You're a pretty good archer. Thank you. I do my best. I learned from the best, I would say. You learn from, uh... What was the name that we're supposed to call him when we're on the road? Gaiman. Or Red, if you're me. Hey, I think I like Ray better. It's a little bit easier to say. Obviously, it's easier for me to say. Today has been pretty interesting so far. Tomorrow has a lot to live up to. Eh, great. <laughs> I'd rather not run into any more giant battlefields on the road if that's okay in a go. I see where you're coming from, but still. What was I saying? Something about me being easier to say? Oh, right. Uh, well, his actual name's easier for me to say because it's, you know, his name. Cayman is kind of weird on my tongue, frankly. So, red works. I can't remember why we were talking about this. Right, you learned from him. You learned from red how to be an archer. Mm hmm. I mean, I was an archer before, just out of habit and sick wolf. <gasps> Mangy mutt. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I put him down before uh, bad things happen. He. 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 What are you giggling about? Well, the other oh. went ahead. Sorry. The other day when we were going to get a uh, quinoa out of the sticky situation. <laughs> I remember I looked up and I saw the moons and I was like, oh, look, the moons, they're very full and very pretty. And uh, Mr. Red was, was very interested in that. And then I got scared of werewolves. Yeah, I can see why. Hmm, probably afflicted. Oh, this is a bad place to be. Why is that? Because there tends to be a bunch of Force Warden up here. Uh, have you ever uh, encountered the Force Warden? Uh, briefly? Kind of? Well, this is going to be fun. Oh, this is a good spot for an ambush. Hello. <gasps> In a go. Alright. I was going to tell you to move your tail, but. Uh... <gasps> Hello. Oh, this. Huh? Yeah, pretty much. Don't go in! Mm, I went in there. This! Don't go in! Come on! Let's just go! 
Where's Cynical? Oh, hello. Where are we going? Where are we going? In? Come on, Morgut. You know, we'll catch up. Oh, jeez. Ah. Don't worry, I'm coming. I'm just worried about it, Inigo. Jeez. Oh. There he is. Yep, just waiting for him. Come on. No, we're going this way. Come on. More good. Mm, sis, she's bigger trouble than me. Who is it? It's me. I heard you got a bit banged up. May I come in? Yeah, sure. Oh, right. It's daytime. Sorry. Ouch. Janvita said you nearly lost an eye. I guess she wasn't joking. Yeah, the medic back at Fort Greenwell changed the bandages out before we headed back. I still couldn't see out of it, but I think it swelled shut, so... I'm supposed to go look for Quintus at the White File when I'm feeling like moving again. Ouch. Rough trip? Apparently. One of those you-don't-feel-it-until-the-day-after things. Well, don't strain yourself. I'd be willing to walk back with you if you need a hand. Jeez, it's... It, well, a sauna. Would you be terribly uncomfortable if I took the coat off, at least? <laughs> no, go for it. It's pretty warm, even for me, and I'm used to Iliac Bay summers. Guessing it's a little much, even for a fire mage. Yeah, and the vampire thing kind of cancels out any heat resistance I might otherwise have. So... Janvita told me basically what happened. You got mad at Ulfric and tried to show him he was wrong about you? Something like that. More like, I thought I had to prove my worth to him so he wouldn't get angry at me. My normal isn't everyone else's normal. That sounds like something Dominique would say. <laughs> Ingrath, actually. I wonder if that's where he got it from. Oh, maybe. To be fair, I don't think anyone would want Ulfric mad at them. I haven't met him personally, but he sounds... Well, he sounds like basically every bad stereotype of Nords I've ever heard growing up. Yeah, I mean, maybe. But... I've been thinking about it a lot. I... Honestly wasn't really thinking when I ran off. I was afraid. Afraid? Not angry. I mean, yeah, probably, but I was angry because I was afraid. And I was afraid because... Well, that's the kind of thing my father would have done if I failed at something so badly. He'd get angry and, well, shout. He's probably where the dragon blood came from. Yikes. I'm glad I wasn't related to any of my bullies growing up. Oh yeah, on both sides, too. That must have been hard. I'm glad I've come far enough to recognize that, though. I have a lot of healing to do, and not all of it is physical. Yeah, speaking of that, speaking of very old wounds and whatnot, you and I have never talked about... you. The real you. What do you mean, the real me? I mean, well... I read the scrolls, you watched me read them. I saw your aura and how different it was from Ingrath's or Serana's. And that's why I came back. Because I know what you are. I know who you are. Even if I can't say it out loud for fear of being suffocated by moths in my sleep. I know who you used to be. Why talk about it now? Because I have a feeling it might have something to do with the reason you just ran off and nearly got yourself killed. And I'm carrying on a proud tradition of having strange conversations in bathhouses. <laughs> Fair enough. 
Yarnvita didn't tell you what happened at Fort Newgrad, did she? No, but I heard about you splitting the team in half to go take the fort, even though you probably should have used the gates as choke points and concentrated your force. Uh, never mind, I'll save it for the field. What, you planning on fighting? Not if I can help it, but... If my council saves people from having things like this happen to them, then I have a reason to be here. So what else happened to Newgrad besides questionable strategy? I... lost my mind. I... Well, I described it to Ingrath as like what happened to Pelinal Whitestrake. That kind of unrelenting fury that got so many people killed. Which makes sense, considering you were Pelinal Whitestrake. I hate that I know that. I hate everything. You know that's not true. Yeah, I know. I... It wasn't even a Pelinal moment so much as it was a Wolfharth moment, which hasn't happened before and... I don't really know how to deal with it. I just... Like, my mind went blank and all of my words were thum. I couldn't even really figure out where I was or which battle I was fighting until Yarnvita called me Kinawa again. Oh. So that's another reason I went to Riften alone. I thought if it happened again, I didn't want anyone around. Because... Well... Whitestrake. I don't want to be like him. I don't want to be that consumed by rage or hatred or... It scares me that I'm even capable of it. Makes sense that this side of you would be coming out now. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like you grew up a bit smothered by your parents. No, you're right. I thought that's why I left for Skyrim in the first place. I got out from under them so I could live my life, but... How can I live when every time an old man even partially raises his voice, I think of my father? Careful. No shit. Sorry. Yeah, I know how hard it is to separate that kind of thing. I did realize after I said the whole thing about every Imperial soldier reminding me of my father, it sounded a bit... Uh, I don't know. Relatable, honestly. Yeah, I just... I don't know how to deal with it any more than you do. You know, Dominique actually gave me a valuable nugget of advice the other... night. I think. She came up to the college to talk some sense into me. One of the things she said was that, and I'm paraphrasing here because my mind was basically sand right at that moment, sometimes you have to stop distracting yourself and let the feelings happen as they will. I'm... You really think that's a good idea for someone like me? You're not Pelinal anymore. Yeah, and I don't want to be like him again. I don't want to be like... Yeah? Like my parents. Yep. You don't seem at all surprised by this. The switching between topics, everything being interwoven. I mean, I'm kind of still trying to process things. I'm currently not thinking about the fact that I'm basically speaking to a god in a sauna. I'm not... I'm not. I'm just me. This regular mortal me. Just you happens to be rather a lot, actually. I know, and honestly, that's the other reason I did this. I know the Greybeards, and Ingrath for some reason, call me Ismir. But that's a name I haven't earned. Not this time around. There's a part of me that wants to live up to the reputation that Tiber Septim made when he held that title. Thus breaking the empire you built? I... Yes, breaking the empire he built. Letting the old tree die and growing a new one. I once had a dream where a dragon told me to be the bridge. Be a shaman. I feel like pretty much all I've done is burn bridges at this point. That's interesting. Is that why you came to Skyrim? Or, well, another reason, anyway? Yeah, to be a shaman. Find my path somewhere that didn't look at magic as something to be shunned and hidden away. Looking back from this distance, I wonder if it was just my parents. I mean, you said it yourself, you do have some serious healing to do. If that's not something shamany, I don't know what is. And you're friends with a fire mage and a... Whatever Ingrath considers himself, I don't know, but my good gods, does he ever have his weird moments? I think you may have found some magic. And I'm the one who brought all of you together. So, yeah, I think you're in the right place.
You've bridged the gap between, well, Yarnvider and I, if nothing else. You're uniting Skyrim through violence, but I mean, so did your predecessors. You. Oh my god, it's the Whale Bridge. Huh? Shore's bones. The Whale Bridge. But Shore is the fox? Maybe, but there's a giant dead whale in Sovngarde and people keep talking about Shore's bones. I walked that bridge, I went to the Hall of Valor, I sat in Shore's throne, I- You <laughs> sat in- Yeah. And promptly freaked out because nobody seemed to have a problem with it. After I killed Alduin, I went and stood on a hill and had a crisis because I realized in Sovngarde, the closest I've ever been to her, that Kain is important to me. And I couldn't see her. She's Shaw's... Oh. I bet that explained a lot and confused you further in equal measure. And broke my heart a little, yeah. I might have cried in front of Soon and most of the heroes of Sovngarde. The eyes of Shore are upon you this day. Yes, sir, and they are leaking. <laughs> Thanks for coming back. And being willing to talk about this. I feel like I'm going crazy, honestly. If it were anyone else and if I hadn't seen it with my own admittedly enhanced eyes, I probably would think so too. But I don't think you're going crazy? I think you're processing. Dealing with old wounds. Very old wounds if you, for whatever reason, start remembering past lives. I guess that's another gap you're bridging. Past to present. If you ask me what the architecture was like back at the height of the Alessian Rebellion, I might have to go white strike on your ass. <laughs> God, no. I wouldn't... I mean... Jeez, am I really that... No, don't answer that question. I know I am. <laughs> I... Actually, feel very odd knowing that about myself and then being around Ingrath. I don't know what his deal is, but talking about Pelinal and the Aliots, he gets very... I don't know, jumpy, maybe. Nervous. Maybe guarded is a better word. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. And I kind of know where he's coming from. Life was very tense, shall we say, after the Great War. I mean, it still is, and pretty much everyone has some kind of grudge against the Thalmor specifically, but... It's different knowing you're the one who caused someone that much pain thousands of years later. Oh. Yeah, I... Kind of feel like I'm making amends, though. Through him. It's weird. Obviously, I'm only one person, and so is he, and I can't... <laughs> There's no way to erase what Whitestrake did, but... I can at least try to be better than him and use what power I have for the sake of, well, everyone. A greater good, I guess. You make me wonder if maybe Tyva Septim remembered his past lives, too. I think that's where the stories about Wolfharth coming to him in a storm came from. Oh, chills. You gave me chills. We're sitting in a sauna. How did you give me chills? <laughs> everyone reads the old stories as the whole truth. I don't know. Pelinal had at least one lover. You really think someone could love a person who literally has a hole in his chest made of burning rage? Yeah, no. I've always read that as him having severe anger issues. And I mean, I can see why. If he and Tyva Septim and Wolfarth were all like you and remembered things, getting one's heart ripped out is kind of, you know, jarring, if nothing else. Leave scars. Then to have the old man running around complaining that they're mortal and used to be gods when their chief god was the one that made you mortal? I don't know, that seems... I can see where he'd have been angry. Uh, Kinua? Sorry, I blanked again, didn't I? Uh, maybe? You got very quiet. I should probably watch what I say. Classically, anyway, this kind of talk gets people killed. I won't kill you. That sounded very... Right. Sorry, I'm just thinking. The elves and, well, prior versions of me were both angry about the same thing and hated each other for it. The same thing. Be the bridge. 
Did... what? <laughs> I think... I think I kind of get it now. There's still so much I don't get, but... It makes sense. It's like how I react to things, like... Ulfric. Because of the things that happened with my parents. They all reacted to things because of... Well, losing our heart. Losing... That spark. And I'm, I think, the first one in so many lifetimes to be that close to her again. Her? Kine. Your... Your heart... Oh, dear. You of all people know what that's like. Ingrath does too, from what I've heard. I don't really know how much you know about him. Not as much as you, probably. I'm... I'm coming to terms with this whole I used to be famous people and also sometimes monsters thing. It's kind of slow going and I'm trying to resist the urge to crawl back into a box and hide there so no one yells at me for it. You've got friends now. <laughs> You've got your own companions. No wait, that was Isgrimor, not Ismir. I don't nod good. <laughs> You're right though. And I mean... I trust all of you with my life, up to and including Inigo, in spite of the fact that sometimes you all remind me of... Uh, I guess my old companions, and in ways I can't really begin to articulate. I think that's the only reason I'm... actually feeling like I'm able to do any of this, question in any of this. There's a lot to unpack, a lot of things I don't have reasons for, and it's making me crazier than I already am. It seems I... or... Well, yeah, I show back up either when the elves are doing awful things, or when the world is doing awful things. Or both, in this case. Dragons and Thalmor. Can't wait to see what fresh oblivion shakes loose this time around. True things. Uh, alright, I need some cold air before I melt in here. <laughs> well, you know where to find me. I should probably head back in before I dehydrate, but... I'm in here basking like a lizard on a rock. How appropriate. Don't stay in here too long. I won't. And... Thanks, I think. Reporting in. Get over to Markarth. Rumor has it the Jarl steward, Rayrek, is a faithful Talos worshipper, if not a true son of Skyrim. He still supports the Empire, after all. But... If confronted with proof of his belief, you might be able to persuade him to aid our cause. Indirectly, of course. Wouldn't want to sully his reputation, would we? You'll need to be careful with this one. The Yaro's men won't look kindly on you rummaging through the steward's quarters. Don't worry, I think I have a plan. I can always count on you, can't I? Looks like the damn Thelma are still here. That's fun. Mm hmm Very fun. Alright, you and then go wait down here. I'll go distract the... Where is Inigo anyway? I think we lost him. Don't worry, he'll catch up. Alright. You say so. I'm going to go distract Rayrick and the Jarl. The steward's room should be just through there. You seem to know Markarth pretty well, actually. Heh, I may or may not have been involved with a Forsworn conspiracy here. Oh, that was you. Uh, you did not hear anything, but maybe. Okay, I'll sit here and wait for Inigo, and when he catches up, I will tell him where the, the plan is. Sounds like a plan. Carl and Rayrick and how's Carl? I came to talk about what happened with the Force 
board last year. Uh, okay, I think she may have started the, started the, the distraction. Well, I am here for you. Uh, I would like you to actually wait here for me. Whistle if you need me, okay? Okay, I'm going to try to be sn so sneaky about this and about not get noticed by the... Uh, the justice yard up there. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Hang on. <laughs> this is a moment to use this. Now you see me? Now you don't. <laughs> I will be right back. Don't worry, the companions are here now. Hopefully I do not actually run physically into somebody. Just wondering how he didn't hear anything and then I realized he has a helmet on. Of course he didn't hear me. Oh, I can't whistle. Hmm? I must be out of speed. Going on here. He timed that very, very well, actually. Okay, I'm back. I am ready to go if you are. Hmm. Actually, you sit down here for a little while because you are more easily recognizable than me, and I'm sure they know you're here. I th I'm sure they know we are both here, but. You know. You are still busy? Remember to get me when you are done. Mm-hmm. I'm just waiting for them to move so I can go sneak up and give Yarn Vita the amulet of stuff. So I'll be right back again. Do -do -do -do. Oh boy. You're trespassing here. You'd better clear out. Ah uh, no, I'm I'm with the Harbinger. Speaking of which. Ah, uh, Yarn Vita. What is it? I have the... Oh, I have the thingy, don't mind that. Alright, give it here. Right, we'll want to be careful with those bastards around. Mm -hmm. By the way, Rerik, I wanted to know if... I'm Igman's uncle, as well as his steward. Right, I wanted to know if you knew anything about Talos worship in the city. Not here. Come with me. Stay close. And the guards will leave you alone. Mm, the Arl Ligman looks a little bit shot with everything. Oh, don't worry, the Khajiit is with me. <clears throat> you didn't have to announce that quite as loudly as you did. Oh, look at that timing. Stay close, see? I am staying very close. I don't want them to notice me. Where did you leave Finnego? Oh, he's down at the bottom of the stairs, don't worry. I suppose you're here to extort something from me. Is that it? Well, what is it you want? Well, if you believe in Talos, why don't you join their cause? So, you're one of Ulfric's spies. I can't deny the man is right about a few things, but I've seen firsthand what Ulfric is capable of, given the chance. Suffice it to say, he is no friend to Markarth, and no friend of mine. My first and only loyalties are to my nephew, and to this city. All right. Well, spy is kind of... I don't think that word could probably be applied to me. Her, maybe, but not me. But, Rerik, you remember what happened the last time I dealt with the conspiracy in this city? What if this was made public? The Thalmor would need to make an example of me. I'd be thrown into prison, but our family's honor would be stained for generations. I'm the Jarl's uncle. 
He, his father, and I swore oaths to the Empire to abandon Talos as conditions of our return to the city. Alright. Well, perhaps we can come to some kind of agreement then, and no one has to hear about this. Jeez, I did not know you had the deal. Huh. And what if I told you about a large shipment of silver and weapons? Alright. How much are we talking about? Enough to make a significant difference in the war. Alright, I'm listening. Oh no, I won't tell you anything more until we have an agreement. That's fair. Alright. It's a deal. I won't say anything. You can keep the amulet. I can't guarantee anything for after whatever Ulfric decides to do with Markarth, but it's a deal. Where can I find this shipment? They're taking it by wagon to Solitude. If you hurry, you'll catch them before they get far. It'll be a fairly slow-moving caravan. The shipment's quite heavy and guarded by many men. Now, let's pretend we never had this discussion. Eh, what discussion? I have letters to read. That's what I thought. I cannot believe you have it in you. <laughs> eh, you know, after dealing with Madanok and Nepos and everyone... You're trespassing here. You'd better clear out. We're clearing out, don't worry about it. You remember me, don't you? This is your last warning. Get away from there, or else. I think he remembers you. My arm, we need to discuss the force. What do you think we need to discuss? Ooh. And I see Inigo has wandered off again. Probably going to find somewhere to sit. Right. <sighs> okay. Well, that's that dealt with. Let's go tell Galmar and get out of here. Mm-hmm.